Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can create a transparent header in your Squarespace website so that the background of the first section is visible behind your site title, your main navigation links, and any other elements that are there in the header of your website. Now, if you're using an auto section, like a list section layout or a gallery section, we'll need to use a little bit of custom code to scoot that content behind the header. So if you want to jump ahead to that part, check out the timestamps listed in the description below. Otherwise, I'll go ahead and share my screen and teach you exactly how to set this up in Squarespace. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and I do want to mention this tutorial is specific for version 7.1, the latest version of Squarespace as of 2024. There are three different design options for your website header, adaptive, gradient, and solid. All three of them can create that transparent header, but there is a difference in how the links change color. Let's go ahead and take a look at all three. We'll select edit, and I'll select edit site header, and then edit design. Under the Color tab, we have Solid, Gradient, and Adaptive. If you select Adaptive, that will automatically make the background of your website header transparent. So now we can see this flower image going all the way up through the background. However, the color of these links will change depending upon what I've selected for the first color theme for the first page section on my website. So if the first page section has a different color theme on different pages, these links will be different colors. If you want them to always be the same color, you'll need to select one of these other options. We have Gradient and we have Solid. Both of them have a navigation color link. Clicking on navigation color, you can select any color from your color palette, or you can click into custom and select a custom color, whatever suits the style for your own unique website. After you've decided what color the navigation should be, this is how we can make it transparent. Opacity, this adjusts the level of transparency. So if we pull that all the way to the left, our website header will now become transparent and we can see that flower image showing up. Now that might seem like the end of this tutorial, but it's not. I'm going to go ahead and show you one more situation in which you'll need to use custom CSS to create a transparent header. We'll go back to editing our website and I want you to notice this is a standard Fluid Engine section. I can add a block of content. It says edit section on the right. This is a Fluid Engine section. But if I add an auto layout by selecting add section and let's use an image for example, we'll choose this full width scrolling image effect. You'll notice that the website header is now a solid background color. The image is no longer behind it. If your first image section is an auto layout like this, you'll need to use custom code to pull this image behind your website header to get that same transparent effect. And I'll teach you how to do that. We'll go ahead and select save and we'll select exit. And scrolling down on this page, I've already added the code that we need to use. This is the code that will pull that image or that page section up behind the website header. But we need to make sure it only happens to the one specific page we need it on. We don't want this on every single page, only on a page with an auto layout as the top section. So I'll copy this code and teach you how to customize it. Let's scroll up to the top of our page and we're going to navigate to website and then select website tools, custom CSS. This is where I'll paste the code. I'll remove this first part of the code and you'll see immediately that page section is now pulled up to the top of the screen behind the website header. So my navigation links are top of the image and so is my site logo. I can click through to the next image and again, you'll see we've got that background image all the way up to the top, but we don't want this to happen on every page. I'm going to click on a Chrome extension that I've listed in the description below. It's a free Chrome extension, not affiliated, just a fan. This is where I can get the collection ID. I want to make sure this code change only happens on the page that I need it to. So I'm going to place that collection ID at the very beginning of my code. You'll see nothing has changed. We'll select save. Now this first page section will become the background of my website header, but only where it needs to be, not on every page on my website. That's super duper important. Replace the first part of the code with the collection ID. I'll click on that Chrome extension again to show you. It'll be on the top left-hand side of that page. Click on that extension ID and add it here in your code. This part of the code will be listed in the description below. Underneath this video, you'll find links to related resources about how to make Squarespace uniquely yours. And if you're using one of those auto layout sections for the very first page section on a page in your Squarespace website, I've added that code in the description below. So you can copy and paste that into Squarespace and make it work for your own unique site style. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like and let me know in the comments. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now.
Find everything you need to make Squarespace uniquely yours at InsideTheSquare.co. That's InsideTheSquare.co.